Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 2nd of October. And we're looking at an Amiga game called Out to Lunch, or Pierre Le Chef is Out to Lunch. There you go, it's by Mindscape from 1994. Yes, I'm reading all that off the screen. But anyway, this is a great little game um, with plenty of options. So one or two players, uh, music or sound effects, one or two button joystick. Now, I quite like that. I like it when they map uh, two buttons. Uh, which should have happened more often, really, in the uh, heyday, because the, even the ZX Spectrum could uh, map two buttons, which was cool. Uh, so here we are, and I love this. The presentation on this game is second to none. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it was AJA only, uh, as far as I am aware. I actually had this on my Amiga 1200 and uh, loved it back then as well. So it's an absolute joy to be bringing this to you today. If you haven't ever played Out for Lunch, it's basically a platformer as you can see. Um, that is not a hippopotamus by the way, that is a potato um, with a mushroom in front of it, uh, uh, as, you, as you do. So the idea is basic. You grab a net and then you go and grab the food and then you drop a said food into a cage at the bottom of the screen. Once you have filled the quota, a door will open and you will portal yourself off to the next stage. Um, this does get progressively harder as you go. Now the first level that you end up in is Switzerland and you can see here there is actual slippy physics on the ramps which is really cool. Nice little animation there as well with his arms outstretched trying not to fall over. Absolutely adore this game, it's fabulous. Uh, very, very smooth gameplay as well. You could probably put this down to almost like a console experience type game. Um, and if you get hit, all your food escapes. So you've got to go and recapture all the food that escapes. Um, and you can do this a number of ways. You can stun the food as well, by the way. You can jump on it, a laugh like Mario. Um, and you can uh, later on you get flower bombs as well. Which is where the mapping of the buttons comes in rather handy. Because one of them will swipe with the net and the other one will flower bomb. For every uh, piece of food that uh, that you flower bomb, it will stun them, so it makes them a bit easier to capture. There you go. We actually have the flower bombs on this stage, so you have to pick up the net, pick up the flower bombs, and we're going to go and have a. There we go. So there's the net animation, nice swinging net. As you landed on the potato and stunned it, uh, which is great. You can see the cage is always present. You can drop off the uh, food that you've captured at any time. You don't need to wait until you've got them all. You can drop them off periodically if you like. Um, you can see here there's uh, springs now added to the level, so you can now jump up and uh, to higher places, which is great. I love the tomatoes, I think they're, they're really good fun. Um, later on you also get hot sauce, which you can breathe a fire and stun them, so there's always different things that going on per stage, which is great. You'll notice as well that the stages get a little bit bigger each time as well. Um, but that doesn't really hinder your progress. I think it's absolutely. I think this game has been absolutely thought out to a absolute T. Um, this talk of food is making me quite hungry. Um, but this is a lovely game. You can see the detail on the uh, chef character. It's very. Um, he actually does look quite like a, like the foreign cartoons he used to get, like Vicky the Viking. Do you remember that? Anyone remember Vicky the Viking? Uh, it's sort of along those lines, kind of like that. But the animation as well, I love the animations on this. The fact that you can bash your head on the ceiling and things like that and it actually will sort of crush your hat uh, onto your head, which is great fun. Um, it's, just, it's just an absolute joy to play. Look, the, uh, the mountain range in the background as well, that's really nice. The food itself is really, really nicely drawn and animated. Uh, it reminds me very much of Putty Squad or... Um, Putty, I think it was on the Amiga. Um, the the sort of the graphic design of that, but I think that was that was was that Mindscape as well. Could well have been. Could well have been. I oh, know it was Team Seventeen, I think. But uh, it's very very. I can see some influences on that. But a great game, a great. Game. And being AJ, it used the uh, full color palette that the uh, 1200 had, which was uh, 16.9 million colors or something like that, which is lovely. So you got a much wider palette which you can obviously see as well. Quite a lot of levels as well. Switzerland, we are on level three at the moment, but this does progress through. And then you will go to different uh, places with different foods. There's a hell of a lot to do in this game. It may look very basic, but the actual difficulty level does ramp up as you go. So 
so that's even better. Um, there's the hot sauce I was talking about, so I'm going to go and grab that and I'll breathe some fire. If we actually get to it, it would be nice. Um, but you can see everything's just really, really smooth. The running animations are lovely, the jumping animations, the music's really bouncy as well. Love it. It's, it is very much like playing a cartoon. I can't work out if that's supposed to be cheese. I think it is. I'm going to ring all these bells in sequence as well. Um, and I'm not sure what that actually does, but uh, yeah, now we get a nice little tune. Which is cool. I was just letting you listen to the little tune that the bells made, which is great. Uh, you can see there that I'm, I am breathing fire because of the hot sauce. I'm going to drop all of my food in the uh, container there. And I'm going to swag my potato. Um, <laughs> there's a. Oh, and you also get this devil little chef, the, the evil black hatted chef who follows you around. Who I believe either sets your food free or he will steal it out of your um, cage. So he's one to watch. But it's just, I love this game. I think it's really, really nice. Um, having a two-player option also is nice. There is a spoon there as well. I can't seem to get in there to get it. Um, that mushroom really doesn't want to come out and say hello, does it? Right, so we're going to just uh, gather the food as we would. Um, but yeah, sound and music is, is glorious in this game. It's really nice. Nothing is too obtrusive either. You're going you're to you're enjoy the game thoroughly. Uh, especially if you platformer fans, if you do enjoy your platform games, uh, there's not really much brain power to go into this. It's literally swipe the food, drop it into the uh, cage, and uh, you're done. And that is the level complete. I think you guys would enjoy this. Remember, it is only on the 1200 because the 500 could not handle the amount of colours on screen at once that this can. And I think, to be honest, the extra expanded memory on the 1200 was also put to good use considering the smoothness of the game. I think that's really, really important to uh, point out. But yes, um, there weren't that many AJA games. I mean, the James Pond 3, I think, was AJA. That was a nice one. That's on my to-do list, by the way, the James Pond series. Uh, so that's coming at some point soon. Um, but yes, it's, it's just glorious. I love it. Absolutely love it. And this will keep you entertained for a long time. It's not one of those games where you're just going to, you know, play it for five minutes and then you get bored, uh, rigid with it. It's got a lot to offer and uh, with a level range that's going to suit most players as well. And difficulty level, it's um, the learning curve is fantastic. So you could start as a younger player and uh, even enjoy it as a more experienced gamer. So there is a lot here. Here you go, you've got teleportation pads now. I think that's really kind of cute as well. Bit of nod to uh, Star Trek there, which is great. Um, but yes, it's it, this would appeal to most um, a, a wide range a wide range of people to play and if you haven't played out to lunch I really recommend you give it a go at least so there you have it anyway great game by Mindscape I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna let you have a bit more footage uh, of the game in play by my good self and I will catch you in the next review hello to new subscribers and hello to existing subscribers you guys are awesome thank you for helping me keep the channel up and running and uh, even though I don't get paid for any of this or haven't monetized the channel or anything like that it doesn't matter. I enjoy doing what I do. And I love the fact you guys support it. So thanks very much, everybody. I do appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. So this is for me for now is signing out. I will catch you soon. Bye for now.